All right. Are we back? 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 back? Okay. Okay. Hando says we're back. Hando's here. Hando, are you in WoW? What up, Hando? I could just use random.org, but using Hando is so much more fun. No, oh, that's my yeah. Apple TV remote. All right. All right, we'll start this over again. Let's do this. Your wife is prepared today. You are. I'm on the ball. Coming to you from Louisville, Kentucky. It's the Valentine cast with your half frazzled couple, Jay and Renee Valentine. Today is Monday, June 10th, 2013. And this is episode 111111. I like the same one, 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 one. You do? This is not episode 111111. Maybe one day it will be episode. No, we'll be wrong day. I don't know. Before that. I'll be like 111. 111. Um, so yeah, this is the Valentine cast. The music you hear in the background is um, given to us by, um, not given to us, but it, um, the guys that pretty likes music, Mr. Derek Vincent Smith. I didn't know that was his name. That is his name. Um, allows us to use his music, um, which I'm proud to say he has a new full length album coming out. Yeah. July 2nd. Num- the name of it is a color map of the sun i'm sure we'll be giving it a listen oh actually today when we head out we'll be listening to um the new single around the block Mm -hmm. which includes talib kwale yeah that's uh yeah is that close enough i've I've heard people say it 10 bazillion ways so yeah talib kwale as long as you don't say absolutely off the map i'm sure anybody will accept it right right so um We'll be listening to that single, and as and as always, you know his music is free. Um, he definitely takes donations and whatnot. But um, if you really dig um, Daft Punk and you know that music and this music you're hearing now, it's just more goodness of that right there. So, yeah. So, hey, uh. <laughs> want to say what's up to our chat room? What is going Hi, on, chat room? Chat room? What is going on? We have on? lovely people in here today. We do. We do. We have um, Hando. We have Hando. Here? Hello, yep. Hando. We have Mr. Star Mode 6, Mr. Mike himself. I know. And Resting Willpower is here. I know. I have to ask him how he got that name one day. And last but not least, the um, distinguished Aaron from the Black Astronauts podcast. I know. Yeah. I just heard that, pod- that podcast earlier this afternoon. It was oh, good. yeah? It was good. They always make me laugh. Yeah, I started Pretty listening nice. to it, then I had a bunch of meetings so i did get to listen to the first bit you know but um just a special out to you know congratulations to mr feet feet blurden mm-hmm. himself for um for the birth of his new child congratulations, congratulations. congratulations. welcome to fatherhood It'd be funny if I got that totally wrong. It was. Okay, good, good. Yes, Yeah, Because Lady Roe and I were giving him a hard time okay, about good. wearing the um, male breastfeeding vest so that he could breastfeed. I think that's a very good idea. No, not good idea. Right, right. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, because um, I'm still learning the voices on the show. Uh-huh. It, t- it takes me a long time to learn people's voices, so I'm getting there. I know Aaron. That's about... The one I'm 100 on, but you all go check it out. It's a great podcast. Uh, they'll definitely make you laugh. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, um, 
you know what? We're going ahead and just jump right into a little bit of a what? I shit you not. Okay, Jay, Jay did that this time. Uh, we have a, because I, I didn't have not. it on the because again. Oh, <laughs> settings, but we should record that because that was awesome. But anyway, what? Your your I shit you not. That oh. was better than my I shit you not. Uh, so I want to talk about something that I saw on the news this morning, the right. Louisville news. Oh, what did you see? I saw a news story. I'm going to post this in the chat room for everyone. So I saw a news story where a guy drove up to a PT cruiser mm-hmm. and threw a Molotov cocktail into the PT cruiser. Mm. Of course, it exploded, catching on fire. But then... He also caught on fire because, you know, he was right next to the freaking PT Cruiser. Right, he right. He drives off, hits several cars, and smashes into the side of a house. Crazy. And they take him to the hospital for burns, and then he somehow gets away. He, he just snuck out of the hospital, Apparently. Huh? So, <laughs> this is the, cr- and, and apparently it was a domestic dispute. Now, how mad does someone have to get to throw a Molotov cocktail into your car. Right, right. I mean, you you must have been cheating with her sister, her best friend. Well, I thought you said it was a he oh, well, that threw it into the PT Cruiser. Okay. I keep saying she because that's very sexist of me, but women do some crazy well, stuff. They're very emotional when it comes to their men. Well, they when were, you told me that the person threw it into a PT Cruiser, mm-hmm. then I knew at that point, it was a male that threw it in. Why? Because women drive PT cruisers. Oh, oh, oh definitely. Real, Only real, women, right? real men. Okay. Real men do not drive PT cruisers. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> a, a, maybe it was a man. They could have totally been gay. You don't know. They could have been gay. So, but, eh, but, but okay. here's another one. I'm gonna get right, get people mad at me again. And, you know, um, gay domestic violence is worse than what? male and female. What? what? Oh, oh, Starmo drove a PT Cruiser. Uh, exactly. Take it back. Take it back. Exactly. Take it exactly. Back. As I was saying, real men <laughs> don't drive a PT Cruiser. Anyway, so, so I mean, uh, okay, so she must have been cheating on him with his boss, his co-worker, his best friend, his brother, his father, somebody close that really pissed him off. And, it, and I say cheating because what else can someone do to piss you off that bad right and make you have such an emotional reaction right it had, it had to have been cheating so uh dude go get some help yeah and you owe that girl or guy whoever's pt cruz it is you owe them a lot of money because that yeah. was crazy now, i'm just joking with all the folk out there with the pt cruisers he is please don't <laughs> hate him feel free to write in though if that's all yeah. i have to do to get you to write in that'd be great please don't come here in louisville kentucky and throw a molotov cocktail through our window because jay says some crazy stuff like well that. if you're riding the pt cruise and i'm riding in black lightning you you have to throw it up real far <laughs> black, black, yeah. black lightning is not that tall so hey, Louisville, Kentucky, hey, y'all crazy. Hey, there is nothing wrong with a Dodge Carav- Caravan. I'm not going to lie because <laughs> I used to have a Dodge Caravan when I first got to Louisville, you know, because, you know, that, that was the vehicle that I was parted with in the divorce and everything else. Mm-hmm. And I, I like my my Dodge Caravan. I didn't have the stow and go. But I don't know what that is. That's where you the seat store like your mom and dad's oh. Odyssey. Um, but, um, I, I like my car caravan cause I had the sports package, the traveling package. It had like the bigger wheels and the spoiler kit around <laughs> and <laughs> DVD play and all that other stuff. Yeah. I didn't have all that. <laughs> um, I remember our yeah. first van, it had the fake wood paneling on the side. Oh yeah. It was blue with fake wood paneling. That is awesome. It was great. That was awesome. So that was, um, that, I shit you not. So let's go ahead and jump right into a. A little bit of the weekend wrap up. We, 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 weekend wrap up. Ooh. That's how you people say it, right? Mm-hmm. So. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> I had to say. So it. on Friday after work, um, Renee and I decided to go to the Greek Fest here in Louisville, down on the Belvedere. Yeah, they have it every year. Yep. Um, last time we went was two years ago? It was three years ago. Three oh, years ago. Oh, no, wait a minute. It was before we got married, right? Mm, I don't know. 
It was a long time ago. It was a long so time ago. So it was either five years ago or four years ago. I'll go, I'll go with four. Okay. It it's still a long time. Okay, it's regardless. been a long time. <laughs> uh, it's been a long time since we right. left you. That dope beat, step two. Step two, step two. Okay. Um, <laughs> So the Greek fest, they have Greek dancing, Greek music, Greek food, Greek vendors. Um, and I have to get a hero every time I go because they're so good. Right. And they have these strips of lamb on them. They're like frozen. They mm-hmm. come in like a big pack and they just break them up. I mean, it's not like, you know, fresh ground lamb or anything. Right, right. But, uh, and they had something called Greek fries. It's just fries with feta cheese on it. Right. It's good. It was good. You just throw feta on anything, call it Greek. Oh, uh, feta, Greek. feta. Help, feta. And so, and then feta while spaghetti, you, Greek. And then while you're in the line getting that, I was in the other line, and I, <laughs> I got lamb shank dinner, um, the dom domethe domathas d o m e m t h e s or something like that. Don't don't kill me, Greek folk. Um, what else did I get? I got the um, um, grape. I got the um, meat, kind of like meat, rice and meat wrapped it was, with grape leaves. Th- yeah, it was grape leaves stuffed with rice and beef. Right. And then <laughs> what else did I get? Oh, and a Greek salad. So, so we got all this food. Just to let you all know, <laughs> it wasn't just for Renee and I. You know, we sent out a text. We and, did. To the whole fam. And, yep, to the whole family. And Kim and Mom, Miss Crocker, they all, they decided to go along with us. So, so That was exciting to have them along. Yeah, it was really fun. It was good. It, it was really fun. So, I had a really good time. Oh, and we had hummus. So we had oh, yeah, and we had hummus too. of food. Uh, we didn't even eat it all. It we didn't so eat it all, so we all shared it. But but tell us, how was the lamb? Shane? The lamb okay. was very rich. Very tender. And very tender. Very, very tender. Very tender, very rich, and mm-hmm. seasoned just right and, and everything. Uh-huh. And then I started thinking, man, this meat is so tender. Why is it so tender? And then all of a sudden, don't know why, it hit me. I said, I'm eating a baby sheep. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's a lamb. I was like, and if you all know, I can't remember who we were on the show with. We were talking about veal, and I said that I could not eat veal. I think it was Strumpet or yeah, Bronco it was, or it was someone. Somebody, yeah. I couldn't eat veal because I was like, just thinking about the little baby pit, the little baby cow being plumped up for the slaughter and everything. And so... So after that, he stopped eating it. Yeah, after that, I stopped eating the lamb. Aw, Jay, Jay, you should go join PETA. No, I'm so. not. See, here's my thing. Yo, yeah, it was Bronco because then y'all joked me and y'all said I would totally that the baby back ribs were from baby pigs. <laughs> and I said, no, they're not. I was like, even if they were, I would still eat baby rat back ribs regardless. Why would you eat baby back ribs? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> baby cows are cuter than baby lambs, and they're cute. No, they're not as cute as baby. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know why I could eat a baby pig. Baby pigs are super cute. They are they cute. They are the least cute out of a lamb, a cow, and a pig. Yes. The I lamb. guess because, to me, baby back ribs... I know some people don't shoot baby me for back, this. Baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, back ribs are, are better than baby back, baby than um, baby back, baby lamb baby back, baby back and ribs. veal. So so the <laughs> meat, the taste draws you in. Right. And it clouds your judgment. It does. And it allows you to eat cute little defenseless baby right. animals. Right. Now, now, now saying that, if I had to, mm-hmm. if oh. all that was on the menu was lamb, we, if we went to a lamb restaurant and that's all they had was lamb, if I'll I was fine. starving in the woods and came across a lamb, I would cut that sucker's throat so oh, yeah. fast. Oh yeah. But otherwise, you That's know, easy. I don't tend to order it if it's if other things are available. Right. But it, but since you put it right in front of my face, I, but, I ate some of it. But again, it's really rich. It's really rich, also. It's really rich. It is. It's, and it um, was a big. It was a big lamb shank. It was shank. huge. It, it it looked like those turkey legs you get. It, it was just the. the whole, uh, it was it was the leg of the leg. lamb. It was, it was the whole leg. So I, I, so I think like, I got his rear. It looked like his rear left leg. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
why why left? Did you didn't did, did you examine it? I examined the decide? bone. Of course you would have. <laughs> it looked <laughs> of course you so anyway, so after we didn't eat everything because it was so much, it was time for dessert. I love dessert, right? Because there's just one dessert that I got last time we were there, and I was pumped for it, Jay. Wasn't I pumped for it? You were very pumped. You was, was like, that's all I'm gonna like, get. Mm, 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 mm. It was uh, baklava Sunday. Basically, they just crumble up baklava and vanilla ice cream. And it's amazing. And those of you all who don't know, baklava is a layered phyllo dough dessert. It uh, It's syrupy and yummy and awesome. Uh, and when that's combined with vanilla ice cream, the universe explodes. Mm-hmm. And everybody just has sex with everybody because everybody feels so good. That's how <laughs> awesome <laughs> a baklava sundae is. Right. So, of course, I had that, and I was loving it. And Jay... What did what did you get? What was your premier item? And then we'll talk about that. I got the brownie baklava that was simply amazing. I bet mine was better. I think mine was better. No doubt. It probably it probably <laughs> was better. But it but it but it was good. It was I mean baklava Sunday. I mean baklavas and brownies. And right. Ice cream. Right. Come on. And we also had an almond cookie, which was okay. We had these uh butter cookies and chocolate. Plain and marble, which is the chocolate and marble mixed together. Those were good. They weren't overly sweet. They were just sweet enough. We had that. And my mom got a chocolate tort, which was good. Good. It was very there good. There was something else. Oh, the, there was a, bl- uh, a dark walnut cake. Mm-hmm. It was, was kind of like a spicy. Oh, it was good. Was that it? The tort. The, I think that's it. Um, we had so we got so we had tons tons of desserts. We had um, actually. Had to take some home because we get right, so, right. Uh, they had dancing and little kids were so cute, and they were up like the audience was throwing dollar bills right. at the dancers because apparently that that's a thing. And all I could think of with uh, Kim, my sister, <laughs> we started going, "Make it rain!" Make it rain. <laughs> I, I was like, "This is horrible," but but that's what it made me think of. So, um, if y'all get a chance, they're here every year. Right. Um, every is it is it always this weekend? I believe so. I believe it is. It is the, the weekend first after weekend? the weekend after first um, weekend in June. Um, right. or yeah, it's like yeah, probably the weekend before Father's Day. Yeah. So uh, go check that out. So thank you, Greek Fest. Yep. And then on Saturday, um, we got up, not bright and early, but we got up and um, we went to the Louisville Zoo. Cause I've been wanting to go to the zoo. F- for a few months right i've been talking about it and um because i haven't been last time i went was when i had my company picnic four years ago Mm -hmm. so it was a long time ago so uh, i wanted to go again and uh (laughs) and i got the map i got the animal program schedule of when they do the feedings and the training and everything and i uh planned our route and and what what we were gonna do and then right at the end of the previous day or whatever, I saw they close early on Saturday. I right. Was like, I was like, that's fine. We can still go, still have fun. So um, we went and we started out. First, we saw the uh, elephant yep. uh, training. And they, oh, they are adorable. And they can, I mean, and at our zoo, it's pretty it's pretty close right it is um so it's kind of cool to see them and they did some awesome stuff and one of the elephants was 43 years old right right uh, and she was just as spry as the other one so uh yeah so i love to see elephants and um so we walked we saw the camel the lions and then we went um after that we went to the gorillas yeah Yep. N- yeah, yeah. Yep, went to the gorillas. We saw, yeah, and those were pretty cool. Yep. The gorillas are crazy. Like, they have weird humanistic little qualities, but then they're totally animals after that. It's, it's right. so weird. They go back and forth. Like, I saw someone pick their nose, smell it, and then eat it. Um, luckily, no poo flinging. But we did see... Now I don't. Now if y'all are eating, I apologize. We did see a piece of poo out of one gorilla's butt. Yeah, it was. And just it was just sticking hanging. out. No, it, it, yeah, it was sticking out. It wasn't hanging. It wasn't sticking to the fur. It was just 
half in, half out. I was like, okay, I guess it'll just come out on its own. Right. <laughs> so funny. Right, right. So um, we did go to the glacier run. We saw the sea lions, uh, the penguins. We didn't see any polar bears. They were off exhibit, unfortunately. Um, no polar bears. Right, right. Yeah, I was sad because I really wanted to see them because they had ba- they had baby polar bears, but they were off exhibit at the moment. I don't know, I don't know where they were. Right. Yeah, I was sad. That well, that just means we'll have to go back. Yeah, yeah. So and then um, so we walked. We ended up walking like I think about almost five miles that day. Yeah. You know, it's how much we walked that day. Oh yeah, the tiger. We saw the tiger. We saw the tiger. And the tiger was about what about five feet away, less than five. Oh yeah. Feet. It oh was, yeah. It, 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 and, and it was awesome and. The, uh, the tiger was doing tricks and she was doing tricks that were hard for her because you know she's like wild for real right so he made her go up the hill and sit on a rock and like when he had the big old thing of meat so uh it was great it was awesome yeah so and, um, i enjoyed myself and, and the purr oh the the, the, lion purr, purr, the tiger purr the, is i mean tiger purr is, amazing yeah it's it's rumbly it's like, yeah that's what it sounds like I was like, oh, man, oh, man. And, and you know, Aaron, I thought about that. I was like, I think Aaron lives down in this way, you know. I don't know if that would have been. See, see, you know me. I would have, like, freaked out if you had called him. Why? Because, you know, I get anxious. I'm like, oh, my gosh, maybe he doesn't want us calling him. Yeah. You know I get anxious. Yeah. But that's just me. So you heard that. She want me to call you. No, that's not what I'm, nope. All no, right. That's not um, what I'm saying. <laughs> so, anyway, we enjoyed ourselves. It was expensive, though, 15 dollars for a ticket i'm not saying i wouldn't want you to go aaron it's it's something else anyway um issues. what See, issues i do have issues no. we're working on them no no and then and then also <laughs> i have issues of not caring <laughs> it'd be like you know what i was like i could call them what if they're asleep it'd be like nah jay i'm asleep and then they'd I'm be like, like oh my god i'm so sorry they'd I'm be like care. i can't believe that fool called me at 10 o'clock in the morning. I'd be like, <laughs> okay, middle note. Next time I, I know. How do you just not care? I wish I could do that. Because. I care it what everybody thinks. Okay. It, see, I am the person. Here, here, here's me. I am the person that is not afraid to ask. Because if they say no, I'm going to be in the same position I was before. Well, that's not true, because what if you ask something crazy, and then they think different of you because you asked the question? Well, I would see, think... See, see, that's what I'm worried about. Personally, I would think that I am not friends with people that do not feel like they can tell me their honest opinion. They can, If I call too early, they can be like, Jay, don't call me before 10 o'clock. But I want everyone to like me. That doesn't mean they don't like me. <laughs> that means that they don't want to be called before 10 o'clock. And if next time I call before 10 o'clock, if I do, then they have the right not to like me. That's true. No, no. If somebody doesn't like me, that really hurts my feelings. I've never met anybody who just plain didn't like me except the bullies when I was younger. But since I've been an adult, See, this is the time that I wish that we were explicit. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I would tell you what to think about people that don't like you. Okay, and, well, and, tell me after the show. You oh, you that. know what I'm going to say. I know, but, but I, I, it's that, just funny when you say it. So, oh, whew, whew. so anyway, because so <laughs> that, that just makes me want to yell. Show? Look, look, I had to make every show a therapy session right um right, works out right. great for me so that was our weekend uh it was so fun and we had fun hanging hanging out with each other we did <laughs> uh so yeah let's get into some tech, 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 technology wwdc happened today it did. The yep. WWDC, the Worldwide Developer Conference, happened. Yep. Uh, this is where Apple talks about all things Apple. Right, right. Uh, today they talked about, for 